guys, bonjour. Welcome to another episode of Ricky Travels. If you guys are asking yourself, Ricky, what's up with the crappy French? That's because for today's video, I'm gonna give you guys 16 tips that you guys have to know before you travel where? To Paris. <laughs> If you guys didn't know this, my favorite city in the whole world has to be Paris. I've been there so many times and every time that I go there, I always find something new to do. I find new spots to hit, new restaurants, and I just love it. I'm in love with Paris. And I'm super excited to share with you guys 16 tips that you guys have to know before you go there. But before we get started with the tips, make sure that you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> and alright guys, without further ado, grab some popcorn. Take a seat and enjoy this video. Tip number one, when is the best time to go to Paris? Is it summer? Nah, it's actually too hot, too expensive, and there's a lot of people there. Is it winter? During the winter time, it's actually really cold, so I suggest no. Don't go during the winter, unless you guys love the cold and you guys wanna spend Christmas in Paris, which actually sounds nice. But the best times for me to go to Paris is in the fall or in the spring. I usually go in the fall. I love it there in the fall because it's not that expensive. It's not that crowded, actually. And the weather during the fall is actually really nice because it's not that hot and it's not that cold. So it's like the perfect combination of both. So I suggest go during the fall or the spring. Tip number two. Have you guys ever heard that French people are not the nicest people in the world? Well, that's because French people actually find it disrespectful and rude if you go up to them and you start talking to them in a different language that is not French. That's why I suggest that you guys learn some basic French such as bonjour, parlez-vous anglais, s'il vous plaît, and merci beaucoup. And yes, I just butcher my French, but it's okay. It's okay if you guys butcher your French, it doesn't matter. The point is that you guys try, and the fact that you guys are trying, French people are gonna really, really, really appreciate that. And your conversation with the French people is gonna go a lot smoother if you start the conversation in French. Obviously, they're gonna know that you don't speak French, but the fact that you're trying, it seriously goes a long way for them, and you're gonna have such an easy time with them. So trust me guys, start a conversation with some basic French. <laughs> Tip number three, here are some apps that you guys have to download before you go to Paris. The first app is Google Maps. Trust me guys, Google Maps is a lifesaver because if you're trying to go somewhere, Google Maps will literally tell you which bus route, which metro line you guys have to take to get to that specific location. It will tell you the times, it will tell you everything. So make sure that you guys download Google Maps because seriously guys, it will help you out. The second app that you guys have to download is Translate Me. Translate Me blew my mind because seriously, if you don't speak French, you literally just input a word or a phrase on this app and it will literally translate it for you and it will say it in French. So if you're trying to communicate with a French person, this app will literally tell them whatever you're trying to say without you even saying a word. It's so easy, it works perfectly, like it works wonders guys and it will make your life in Paris so much easier. So make sure that you guys download Translate Me and no, they're not sponsoring this video, but make sure that you guys download it. And the third app that you guys have to download is Fountain Paris. This app is crazy because it will literally tell you all the places in Paris where you can get free drinkable water. If you guys are on a short budget and if you guys drink a lot of water, trust me guys, this app is for you guys. Because you guys will be able to see where you guys can get free drinkable water all throughout Paris. Trust me guys, if you guys download these three apps, they will literally make your travel experience in Paris so much easier. So make sure that you guys download these three apps. Tip number four, make sure that you guys buy tickets ahead of time. And when I say tickets, I actually mean tickets for museums, for Disney Paris, for the Eiffel Tower, for any popular Paris attraction that you guys wanna go to. Make sure that you guys buy these tickets ahead of time because you'll be saving so much time. And not only that, but you'll be securing the fact that you'll be able to go there. Because a lot of times tickets get sold out and you'll end up missing a chance to go to the place that you really wanted to go to. It's happened to me and I don't want the same thing to happen to you guys. So make sure that you guys buy tickets ahead of time. Tip number five, when you guys arrive at the airport in Paris or at the train station, you're gonna find yourself with nice people who are trying to help you out with your luggage to find a taxi, to find the right train that you're supposed to get on. And at the end of the day, these people will charge you a huge amount of money and put you in a very uncomfortable situation. 
If you obviously say no to them, they're gonna get very aggressive with you and they will make the situation very uncomfortable. It happened to me when I arrived in Paris a couple years ago, I actually needed help with our luggage and I said yes to this person. Like I didn't even think about it. I was actually thinking about tipping him like a couple of euros. But at the end of the day, this guy was charging us 50 euros for like, I don't know, helping us for like three minutes. It was very ridiculous. I said no, the guy started getting really aggressive and he started saying a lot of things in French which I'm pretty sure there were not nice things. <laughs> and I don't know, it just got really uncomfortable. At the end of the day, like I only gave him a couple of euros and that's it, he left really pissed off. So if you guys need help at the train station or at the airport, just ask someone who actually works there. Don't ask strangers because they'll try to take advantage of you. Tip number six, whenever you guys are walking around in Paris, you're gonna find yourself with people who are gonna ask you to sign a petition. These people will start talking to you in French and somehow make you feel that you're doing something good for the city as you're signing this petition. But the reality is that the moment that you sign this petition, they will ask for a huge amount of money too and they will make you feel really uncomfortable to the point that you end up giving them a couple of euros and it's not okay guys, it's not okay to sign a petition and then give someone money. So make sure that you guys don't put yourself in this situation and don't sign anything guys. If people are asking you to sign petitions, just stay away. Just simply say no thanks and just continue your day. But if you do end up in this situation, make sure that you guys are aware of your surroundings because a lot of times you'll get pickpocketed and I don't want that to happen to you guys. So you guys need to be careful if you're signing something, be careful of your surroundings, be careful of your passport, your wallet, your cell phone, because the chances are that as you're signing something, someone's gonna try and steal something from you guys. So be careful guys, and please stay away from the people who are asking you to sign petitions. All right, tip number seven guys. Around the most touristy attractions in Paris, you're gonna find yourself with people who are selling bracelets. If you guys see these people, just simply ignore them walk away continue on with your trip don't even look at them because the minute that you start a conversation with them or the minute that you look at them they will seriously go up to you and grab you by the arm and start tying this bracelet around you and they're gonna expect for you to buy this bracelet and it's a huge problem because seriously they will grab you by the arm so hard to the point that they're like hurting you and they don't care all they care about is that they put the bracelet around you and that they make some money out of it and if you start saying no and if you start pulling away they're gonna grab you harder so don't get yourself in that situation because it actually happened to me this guy actually grabbed my arm and he was pulling me so hard and just like pressuring my arm so hard i actually had to get aggressive with this guy and i don't know it was a very very uncomfortable situation and again guys i don't want you guys to put yourself in uncomfortable situations which is why i'm telling you guys all these tips so make sure that you guys follow my tips and just ignore these people. Tip number eight guys, the service at the restaurants in Paris, it's really slow and when I say slow, I mean slow. <laughs> at least here in the States and in Mexico, I'm so used to going to a restaurant, ordering food, getting my food super fast, eating, getting my check and getting out of there. Everything really fast, but in Paris, it's a whole experience just to go to a restaurant and you're gonna take some time being there. So be aware that if you guys are gonna go to a restaurant in Paris, you're gonna be in there for a while. And if the service is slow, don't take it personal. It has nothing to do with the fact that you're a tourist. They're not offended, that's how it is. Service in Paris at the restaurants is really slow, so make sure that you guys are aware of this before you go to a restaurant and don't get offended if this happens to you. Number nine, whenever you guys go to Paris, make sure that you guys walk everywhere because you'll find yourself with a lot of beautiful architecture, a lot of beautiful streets, a lot of beautiful alleys, parks, you name it. You can actually probably find like a really cool local restaurant that you guys can go to and that the food's gonna be amazing. So I suggest that if you guys are gonna go from point A to point B, you walk it instead of taking the metro because seriously, what you're gonna find along the way it's gonna be mind-blowing and it's gonna be beautiful guys if you guys go to paris i highly suggest that you guys walk everywhere and try to avoid taking the metro tip number 10 the best way to get around paris is actually by riding the metro or by renting a bike i highly suggest that you guys ride a bike around the city of paris because seriously guys it's such an amazing experience but if you guys don't want to ride a bike don't even worry about it guys you guys can just take the metro around the city and it will take you everywhere that you have to go yes the metro is a little bit complicated but if you guys use google maps 
Maps, it will seriously help you out a lot. So make sure that you guys use Google Maps, which we talked about in one of the previous tips. And if you guys are gonna be riding the Metro, I highly suggest that you guys buy a packet of 10 tickets before you start riding the Metro because it will save you time and it will save you money if you buy a packet of 10 tickets. Tip number 11, I highly suggest that in the mornings, you guys go to French bakeries to get breakfast because the pastries at the French bakeries, they are to die for. They taste really good and they're also really cheap. So I also suggest that you guys buy a lot of French pastries so that you guys can be snacking on them throughout the day as you're traveling through Paris. Tip number 12, you guys already have your pastries and now you guys want coffee because you guys are addicted to coffee. If you guys wanna get coffee and save money, make sure that you guys order your coffee inside the coffee bar because it is cheaper if you do that than if you order coffee while you're sitting on one of the tables on the patio. Remember guys, if you guys wanna save money and if you guys are only getting coffee, order the coffee inside the coffee bar. Tip number 13, this one is one of my favorite one guys. I highly suggest that you guys go to a market, buy food, buy a baguette, buy ham, buy cheese, buy everything that you need to make a sandwich, buy a wine bottle, and seriously, just take everything to the park and have a picnic. There are so many parks throughout Paris where you guys can have a picnic. Having a picnic, it's really cheap. I highly suggest that you guys have a picnic at the park that's right in front of the Eiffel Tower because you guys will be able to enjoy the views of the Eiffel Tower and just, I don't know, there's so much going on in that area that you guys are gonna have a blast just having a picnic drinking wine and enjoying everything that's going on around you so I highly suggest that if you guys want to save money on food and if you guys want to enjoy the views of Paris while you're having a picnic seriously just go to a market go to a market buy food there and take it to a park tip number 14 Wine in Paris is very popular and if you guys love wine, I highly suggest that you guys go to a natural wine bar to sample on wine. Trust me guys, you guys are gonna love the experience and you guys are gonna love sampling a natural wine. Tip number 15, who loves shopping? I do. <laughs> If you guys are planning on going shopping at Champs-Élysées, let me tell you guys that all the stores in that street, they're actually closed on Sundays. So make sure that you guys go there Monday through Saturday if you guys are planning on doing some shopping at Champs-Élysées. Otherwise, you guys are gonna get there and you'll be disappointed because the stores are gonna be closed. All right, last tip guys, tip number 16. I know that a lot of people don't like going to museums. I think I was one of them for the longest time. Now I do, but let me tell you guys that Paris has a lot of amazing museums that you guys have to check out. You guys have to go to as many museums as you can. The one that I really fell in love with is the Picasso Museum. It's kind of hidden and it's kind of a little bit tricky to get there, but when you guys get there, trust me guys, it's totally worth going there. And just like the Picasso Museum, there's a lot of museums that you guys have to check out throughout Paris. So I highly suggest guys that you guys check out museums when you guys are in Paris because you guys are gonna fall in love with everything that's inside these museums. So make sure that you guys check out all the museums that you possibly can while you're in Paris. <music> guys so there you go 16 tips that you guys have to know before you travel to Paris if you guys are gonna go to Paris I highly suggest that you guys go there for four to five days because there are so many things to do in Paris each day I guarantee you guys that you guys will be doing different things the last time I went to Paris I was there for seven days and I swear to you guys that every day I did something completely different there's so many things to do there that seven days is not enough but if you guys are gonna go there for the first time, at least I say five days, because you guys are probably gonna wanna go to Versailles or Disney Paris, and if you guys go to those two places, that's basically one day per each attraction. So, four to five days is like a good number of days if that's your first time going to Paris. So yeah guys, make sure that you guys check out Paris if you guys haven't gone, because it's beautiful, it's an amazing city, and it's my favorite one. That's why I have a Paris tattoo here on my arm. <laughs> So anyways guys, hopefully you guys enjoy my video. Make sure that you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week with my next video.